Uh, perhaps post your affiliate link for Outer Worlds. Yeah, there it is. Your exclamation mark, Outer Worlds. Very, very lucky to have that. Hey, Taco. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Uh, Captain Hawth. Hey, there we go. Uh, but I actually kind of don't want to lie to the Oconoclast. Stranger suits me just fine. Let's go, Captain Ryan. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Tucker, you're Agnes's little boy from Stella Bay? Y yeah. What's that call, right? The, the, he was actually going to be like middle-aged or older. And completely fine. Uh, Tucker, you're Agnes's quote-unquote little boy from Stella Bay? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me. I'd hope she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger. Asked me to rescue you. She's offered a reward to anyone who brings you back to Stella Bay. Uh, Silly, thank you very much for the tier one sub. I'm just staples. Much appreciated. That's a good amount of gift subs that you've just given. Nice. And uh, I'm just staples. Welcome to the Republic. Enjoy your remotes and chat. She made it seem like you were in danger. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Mantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Persuade, running away from cowards. You need to face her and show her you've grown up. I'm getting that reward. Uh, so what do you want to do about it? She'll keep sending people to look for you. You're going after Stella Bay. Uh, I'm going to persuade. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? You survived outside Stella Bay for weeks. Show her the skills you've learned. Teach her the Iconoclast's philosophy. Convert her, she might join you in freedom. Oh! You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. <laughs> oh no. Is Agnes now gonna be here next time? Oh no. Well, we've got another quest to turn in there. Steal these. Check out this terminal. Huxley, stay off this machine. I know your terminal's out of storage, but if you break this one, things are going to go tits up around here. Anyone else? As long as you know what you're doing, go ahead and clear work orders as you can. View work orders. Steam coming out of the roof. Arcing, electricity, the bar, diary, and medical examiner's residence door sealed. System, waterfall. Submitter, Milton R. Who may or may not be dead. The pipes on top of the house are going to burst. They're leaking steam. Someone ought to fix this before they explode or the steam hurts somebody. Uh, arcing electricity of the bar. Extra science is 55. Remotely shut for the power before going into the bar's side panels. Uh, all right. We'll see if we actually have the ability to get that. Dear diary, culinary, uh, Huxley S. Ha ha. Hey, Zora. I figured out how to add work orders. Dear diary, eat it. Hux. All right. Hack 55 as well. And then medical residents. Uh, the door to the examiner's office, uh, residence above the med bay is stuck and completely sealed. Can anyone get the thing open? Hmm. Well, let's just naturally do that one. All right, so it's science and hack that I'm looking to try and get to 55. I think I might actually have the ability to do that. Yeah, hack, definitely. Science is a little harder. I would probably need a different piece of uh, equipment. That is to say, different armor, something that already has science on it. That's tech skills. I mean, hang on, uh, which the tech skills and hacks, it's the stealth skills is hack, right? Yeah, so we, unless this is giving me stealth skills, it is not, okay. So pop on the stealth skills, sorry, pop on the stealth skills and then use terminal, view work order, arcing electricity. There we go, erase work order. Work order marked is resolved and purged from the system, beautiful. Uh, the final one is probably actually going to be outside of our uh, grasp. Unless I go back to the ship. Although I can teleport back here, I have to imagine, right? 
This would be a significant location with a fast travel. Wait, where am I? Bayside, Amber Heights. Yeah. Okay, I can actually fast teleport back to Amber Heights. So maybe I do go and try and find myself some more equipment that will give me more science. Wait a minute. Felix can be a party member? Yeah. Felix is absolutely throwing himself at you to be a party Crew member. Members, Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. I'm afraid I can't overhear that one. Is I've got stuff to pick up. Okay, so let's look at armor. Anything that gives us extra tech skills is what we're looking for. Okay. Which of the ones did I actually go for? Rebuilt mining gear, couple decks of the suit. I wish I could actually see what it would look like using that. That's a Hephaestus one. And it's a uh, Marauder armor. Yeah, I don't really want that. I'm gonna go with the water resistant wear, it's casual. Don't need the stealth skills from that. Oh wait, hang on, we have mechanics overalls. That's fine. And the leaded armor that I should probably put away as well. So yeah, I have no helmets that actually increase our tech. Uh, got a favorite crew member wraps? I do, it's Pavati. Always gonna be Pavati. I go supernova with one hand in melee. One hand in melee is actually really powerful. Don't get me wrong, it's actually really powerful. Alright, yeah, tech skills. So I can put that in there and get an extra five. So we're up ten. Period. So if we're up 10 from where we currently are, then we're one short, so I only need anything that increases my mind stats. At least one of these has to increase our mind stats, right? Body attributes, mind attributes. That'll do it. Aren't there the consumables that would help? Yeah, that's the ones that I'm looking at the moment. Moab will do it. My consciousness. All right. That does mean that I am going to need one tech mod though. Just take the one. Let's go down and do that. Is it gonna go possibly as evil as possible? Best of luck. I uh, I I always end up restarting a campaign like, ah, oh, now it's time to be an evil bastard. Uh, and then never do. There's no way that I'm gonna be able to hurt Pavati like that by being bad. Let's repair everything. Go for some tinkering on nothing, actually. It's not that I wanted to tinker, it's that I wanted to get. Wait, the other clothes? The other clothes can't be tinkered? That's going to be a little bit of a problem for us. Yeah, I guess because that's clothing, not armor, it can't be tinkered. Let's swap those out then. Yeah, that has tech skills, but I don't know if this one can be tinkered either. This one has tech skills and can definitely be tinkered. Okay, we'll take that one then. Right, it's the amount of little pips in the bottom left. I gotta keep an eye on that. Enslaving strangers is one thing, but hurting companions is usually a hard choice. Yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna be able to make Pavati sad in the first town by doing all of the evil things. And I'm resigned to that. My character's morality is uh Pavati. Okay, modify the couple Texas suit. Sure. For just the tech kit. Great. Not gonna have companions though. That is the one way I would actually be able to do an evil build is going for all of the different skills and perks that give you like, uh, where is it? There we go. Plus 25% damage when alone in party. And I take all of the when alone in party buffs. Yeah, again, I'm going to take these two people. I'm legit loving this game though. You have 100 Persuade, 100 Lion, 60 Intimidate. It's amazing what you can do with dialogue in the game. 
All right, I need to start leveling those up to 100. Do supernova without companions? I actually do like the idea of doing a, a, a dumb supernova without companions. And probably melee. I mean, if I'm in town, I may as well turn in the Agnes mission here. Dumb was your first playthrough and it's amazing. Yeah, I, uh, I, I did play like th uh, the first three levels of a dumb playthrough as well, I as I said. Doing on other uh, and uh -huh. Think the dialogue options hey, are just really, really good. And the, the way that everyone that starts to respond to you as well is incredible. Helix, are you reading off your hand again? Yep. Oh, Captain, you did it. My little boy is back safe and sound. Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you Good. that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? Woo! I need a uh, really high intimidate. Uh, your son is a grown man. It's time you started treating him like one. What a sour thing to say. My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama, what I need is for you to listen to what I want for once. But that's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are gonna have a long talk. Hmm. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuck Tuck home safe again. Good luck to you both. Let's talk to Tucker as well. Don't worry about me, Captain. Mama and I'll work this out. Okay. My boy says he'll only stay a few days before returning to Amber Heights. Can't you speak to him for me? Okay. Don't drag other people into this, Mama. I'm a grown man. And I... <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh no, she died. Damn it. <laughs> Why? She's being mean. No evil run, you say? Wish she was being mean. Fine, I'm not gonna annoy the entire town to do that. Although, to be honest, if that resolved and I was still in stealth, maybe. <laughs> Gadget in blue, thank you very much for the bits. Much appreciated. There's a couple of those that I've let continue. In particular, Conrad died. Very much for just looking the wrong way at a character. Udom also died for looking the, the wrong way Amber at uh, Pavati and being a little mean. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. Yeah, the workbench I don't really need at the moment. Marked magazine. In this copy of Dissident Hunter, the hero braves the dangerous hellhole that is Monarch. Numerous edits have been scratched into the text, and a number of villas, uh, dissidents have had mustaches and hats drawn onto them. Huxley, terminal, stay out. This means you. Error. Due to external damage, this device can no longer store more than four logs. Please contact your assigned terminal engineer to replace the storage device. Uh, hack 55 and engineering 55. I don't know what's stopping me from being able to do that. Dear Diary. Oh, we're going to need a voice here. I have heard Huxley's voice, but I probably can't uh, imitate that one particularly. <clears throat> Graham taught me how to meditate. Uh, <laughs> Graham taught me how to meditate today. You close your eyes and you breathe in real deep and try not to cough. Then you just listen to yourself. Uh, you know how sometimes you'll be hiding from a Manta Queen and you're trying to be so quiet and focus real hard on your breathing and you can hear your heartbeat? And you think how the Manticon is not even going to hear me? And all of a sudden you have to squeeze and it reminds you of that time you were going back into the delivery and you're putting it in Zora's table and you sneeze and it slipped and a bunch of things broke. Meditating is like that, but you're supposed to think of those things on purpose. Graham calls it, I don't remember what he calls it, Rek or something? 
He says it your own internal truth, but I'm not to the surface. I cannot do this accent. Uh, <laughs> uh, he says it. He says it's your own internal truth, uh, bubbling up to the surface, and all the things you remember are what you're supposed to focus on and try and improve. When we meditated, I mostly remembered that sitting on rocks hurts. And then again, maybe I'm supposed to topple up my tape. Second diary. Zora's real smart, but you know what? She can sometimes be such a bitch. I was supposed to get some info for her from Cascadia, but I couldn't find a way over without going through more orders. So I gave up and stopped in at Fallbrook to pick up some supplies instead. While I was there, Chastity dropped a few games of Wist. She's so cool. She always playing games there. When I lose bits, I get really upset. I don't have much, so losing what I have, it hurts, you know? But Chastity can drop thousands on a single game and she's fine. Well, sometimes she drinks a bit and slams the table on the doorway out, uh, slams the table and storms out, but still, mostly she's cool about it and I admire that. Anyway, when I get back, when I got back rather, Zora yelled at me because I was a little late. Something about the medicine not being here fast enough. <sighs> Graham said not to try and lose track of time on my next run and I promised I would. See, that's how you teach someone. Don't go to yell and make them feel bad. Agreed. Today Zora gave me permission to buy ammo from Bronson. I don't think she wanted to, but she said I should, just in case. But guns are really loud. I'd rather just run away than shoot one. Still, I'm kind of loud. Zora said it was like a promotion or something I found in the wilderness. Uh, a promotion for something I found in the wilderness. I think it's a code to a door, but I'm not sure why it's important. I can't even get near the place without being attacked. I asked her what a promotion is, and she smiled in a really sad way and told me I shouldn't really worry about it. This will be my last entry. Sorry, diary. You've been a very good listener, but our time has come to an end. The terminal I was making has a horrible beeping noise yesterday, and someone smashed it while I was out, and now I can't save more diaries. Milton can't fix it, and plus he says I should stop coming into his house to write while everyone's around. Whoever smashed poor terminal, if you're reading this, suck sulfur. All right. 55 hack and 55 engineering. Let's see if I can do that. I can get to 55 hack already. Uh, no, I don't have the stealth skills thing on me at the moment. Ah, uh, why did I do that? Uh, personality stats, I think I can increase and I'll be able to do that. So I should get my cobbled exo suit on as well. Yeah. That and then the intelligence stats and then I should be able to do it, right? But how's my engineering? Because I think my engineering is actually pretty low. Yeah, my engineering is real low. So if I go back to the town and then I pick up a body and then I pick up the, the engineering goggles, I'll be able to do this. All right, fine. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Doing a lot of teleporting back and forth, but at the very least, it's going to clear out a lot of missions in here quickly. A reminder to all crew members. There is only one toilet on the ship. Cheers for the reminder. Let's go for... I will just take the cell skills one just in case. Uh, and then there's the goggles I'll be looking for. Does anyone know where they are? Did I get rid of them accidentally? I know Ellie had them before in the toilet. Well, that'll be really quick to check uh, to check because there is only one of those. I know I gave them to Ellie before and then I took them back off. I don't know. It actually looks like I don't have them anymore. Which is kind of tragically sad. They were 15 engineering themselves. I think you broke them down last time. Uh, well then, Pavati's bonus is 13. Isn't gonna be a null. Hmm. Also, I don't even think I have, uh, that tagged on Pavati, do I? Yeah, you know, 10 to engineering, I don't even have that at the moment. I don't know, I think we actually just don't do this one, then. Because we can't right now. Way too much that the game is demanding for the engineering. Final thing that I can check is inventory to see if we have a skill mod that can give us a particularly large amount of engineering. I'd be surprised by it though. Tech skills. I mean, the tech skills include engineering. <sighs> I 
Nightingale Step. That's Dial of Ranged. Thug Kid for extra defense. No. Yeah. No, that's particularly relevant. Okay, so we can't do the engineering one. Damn. That's a that's a big old MB. Stands for my bad. I will keep both of these and then just run back to the town. Alright, so that means we're not even taking Pavati out. Eternally sad. Sorry about it, Pavati. I thought it was. At least we can fix that other one at the moment. So let's... Felix, I overheard you listening to Talk Ball. You a fan? That one. Am I a fan? Up she asks. Beautiful. Are you able to change the interface the color? The, like this one? Yeah, if I could change that to purple, I'd love to. I don't believe that I can, though. Yeah, UI doesn't seem to have a color option on it. Sounds like a mod to me. So it could right. be. Explain something to me. So it could be. What the hell is the point of the six back? Sounds uh, like the kind of mod that I would the ah, protect the fourth back from the eight back. Probably install quite quickly. You want to think of the six back as your twelfth line of defense, yeah? Okay, so it's science that you want high right now. So I think I have right. Science is the size I can get it. Yep, and then we drink the mind stats of Moab. Shut it off. Beautiful. And then engineering 55. Okay, so we actually couldn't see the resolution for this one before. It looks like you have to be within a certain amount before you can actually see a locked option. Which makes sense to me, right? Because otherwise, like, I, there have been no things that have been locked behind having high defense or uh, block or melee or any of those kinds of things. Maybe another mod to take off the ever slight auto aim so that, can, uh, that keeps ruining your headshots. There's an ever so slight auto aim in this game? Or is it just on consoles? I'm not seeing it. Well, look, that one's about the burst waters, right? It says... Results work. Uh, pipes at top of the house. Milton's leaking steam. Right. We should be able to just find another remote way to fix that. In fact, if I lock it as my option in the journal... Is it Hayes' grave? Okay, we'll do that in a bit. Chaney, not what I'm looking for. There we go. If we tag odd jobs, we should just be able to find where we can resolve it. You can make it so it shows all options that are locked. I actually kind of don't want to have that. Because the the difference between runs is largely going to be which of those unlocked options I get to see based on the statistics I've chosen. Or the skills I've chosen, rather. Uh, I don't... No, wait, I can dash forward. Cool. Okay, so we have seen one of these before. Just toggling at vents. Tactical shotgun mark two. Tactical shotgun mark two seems like it's pretty important just with that amount of damage. Looks like no one's done the interface color mod, so now you have a mission. Learn how to make it. Hell yes. Please do. I know that's something that I'm immediately going to have to use. Machine gun. Just take that bounce. What is... What kind of idiot keeps a collection of empty shells? Come on. Damn it. I was hoping to be rewarded for the exploring around the side there. Okay, so our job still wants me to, I guess, talk to Bronson. Got a few more questions for you. They're, they're real simple. Doesn't what are you sense. buying? This is where I got it. Uh, hey, I fixed all your stuff. No, I have. Oh no, 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 I have. I have. All right, turn it in. I literally just did it. Oops. I'll be damned. Thanks for doing that. Here, Zora sets aside a bit or two for people who help out. Before you ask, no, it ain't pay. Just being generous to folks who do a good turn. I like that. I do like that. Hey, bud. Hey. 
be mean to ask. Why do you need a store here? It ain't really a store. Think of me more like a quartermaster, and a chef, and a handyman, and whatever else we need. You're a quartermaster for the Iconoclast? You're a chef? Handyman, huh? You fix around things? Uh, fix things rather around here. A quartermaster for the Iconoclasts? We gotta eat. Eating means hunting. Hunting means armaments. We used to let people take what they will, but then some idiot shot some other idiot over cards. So Zora set up a system. You fuck up, you don't get to buy gear. You play nice, you do. Fair enough, let's trade. Hunting Rival Ultra. Wait, hang on. I'm currently using Hunting Rifle Ultra, aren't I? Otherwise, I wouldn't be using Hunting Rifles. Bam. Bolts Pistol 2. Grenade Launcher 2. Not even gonna have a pickaxe or a hatchet 2. It doesn't seem like there are really, really, like, many high-level melee weapons. I wonder if that's something I'm gonna encounter later on and be particularly sad about. Hat, wide-brimmed. Banded, ports of call. Clothing, handguns, plus 5. Oof. There's one for long guns as well. Apparently, this is just going to sit directly atop my head. <laughs> Fair enough. That's going to look goofy as hell. I'm not going to take it, though. Uh, Iconoclist Assault Rifle, the Iconoclist Revolver, and the Iconoclist Cleaver. They're fine. Optic Goggles for Sneak. None of these appear to be for engineering, unfortunately. Yeah, none of them appear to be for engineering. I wonder if there's any character that benefits from having, like, clothing rather than any armor at all. Let's move that. Bounce. What is the rest of the stuff that we have to complete in the town? Mr. the picket. Actually, hang on. Speak with Velma, space time continuum, return to Sanja, look for signs of Mr. Pickett. Yeah, uh, I think I think we've completed all of the things we can complete in the uh, Iconoclast area at the moment. Sadly. We were in town, we could have turned in those extra two missions, damn it. Alright, let's try and explore the rest of the camp and see if there's any other missions to pick up before we bounce. Hey, Bradford. Ain't seen you before. You from one of the outer steads or what? Ultra Gold and 2.0, you think of the highest? Oh, so they have one higher level version. Whoops. Uh, outer steads, yeah, way off the south. She came in from Stella Bay. Let's say I'm independent. Uh, let's say I'm Unimonarch and leave it there. Independent freighter captain, I flew in. Ain't you fancy. Well, I got two pieces of advice for surviving the dust pack, friend. One, don't let the dust get in nothing private. It's like 10% spores by volume. You'll be yanking out fungus by the handful. Mmm, gross. Two, you can't actually keep the dust out. Always carry antifungals. Sprays work okay, creams are better. You got nothing else? Vodka. Graham's in charge, right? In charge? <laughs> We're iconoclasts. Every soul a sovereign power. We do for each other on account of it needing to be done. Not because some fancy pants manager said to. Now you want to rephrase that question, maybe ask who's respected hereabouts, I can give you a sensible answer. All right, Bradford, who's respected hereabouts? Uh, someone organizing things. Somebody's organizing things. You've got posted guards. Oh, that's a good point well made. Every soul here knows to keep a weather eye out. Everyone's lost somebody to the wildlife. That didn't stop Miss Zora from picking a few souls and imposing a schedule. Be here then, leave there later. Downright on icon In icon Well, it ain't what we do. Take that on top of what happened on the Northern Expedition. She and Graham are exchanging harsher words than usual. Oh, uh, are we gonna get to decide effectively the fate of the anarchists in terms of, you know, how they structure their society? What makes Graham and Zora such a big deal? When the Monarchists wanted to settle down and play nice with the board, Graham was the one that took a stand. He's the reason we're here, breathing free air. Zora's our best sawbones. 
Nearly every soul here owes her their life. She's got funny ways, but they work. You said Graham and Zora, uh, argue a lot. Zora saved near everyone's life. Do you get into that much trouble? Uh, go for first down. Well, sure. It's on account of how we all work. No iconoclast makes another do as they say just because. You gotta convince them. The Graham and Zora argue all the time just says the process is working. Vigorous intellectual debate. You see? All right. Zora's saved nearly everyone's life. Bit skeptical of the debate thing. Welcome to Monarch. The animals think you're tasty. The fungus thinks your lungs are a great place to plant spores. That ain't enough. Look at the sky. Olympus yanks this moon about like a drunk dancer. Storms to curl your hair and quakes to rattle your brain pan. What makes him such a big deal, just in case that allows me to say anything else. All right, see you soon. A little bit more background information, much appreciated. Agitator, rioter, and revolutionary. I'm gonna guess this is probably a major building. No, that's the major building. This is a science structure. Fine, we'll go for this one first. Gotta go for the less major building first, of course. Seems like it might be a home or an inn of some kind. Or just a straight up bar. Wait, the moon is crazy yeah. on this planet? All of the moons are crazy on this planet. We lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. As you do, what up, Graham? Stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Okay, so he does have a little bit of a cult leader vibe around him. What do you teach? I'm told you're out of pamphlets. That's a shame. This is Amber Heights. I expect more altars or incense or both. Uh, I'm told you're out of pamphlets. What a shame. Ah, yes. The first step to accepting the truths of philosophism is to open your heart to its wisdom. I've found the written word to be quite effective in helping people do that. But alas, the eternal truth hasn't been generous with the paper and ink. Now... Why have you come? Well, I tried to start a revolution, but I didn't print enough pamphlets, so no one came. I'm just looking for ways to teach the people here. Anything in need of doing? I just want to know more about your teachings. Tell me about the icon clusters. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, all of these. I'm just going to top down. A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. A printing press on Monarch? Why wouldn't supplies help more? I'm guessing you cleared, uh, need to clear it out. Oh yes, many facilities lie abandoned in the wilderness. I believe the press could be operational again with a little elbow grease and luck. Will you aid us in our cause? Of course. A plus on the Wonderful. <laughs> I requisitioned it's replacement so rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Sure. MSI supplies you. Uh, where the supplies is... Uh, Huxley, the runner from the Northern Ruins. I helped to get out of there. We'll go with that one first. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs. So eager to learn. So bright-eyed. So tone deaf. <laughs> MSI supplies you? One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Where is the supply then? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. All right, I'll be back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. 
Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Is this seriously going to be a Praxis versus Theory kind of thing? Really? God, I love this game. <laughs> ah, like my heart's all a flutter. Uh, access files on the Halcyon Colony. Okay, let's start. Uh, welcome to Graham's Bryant. <laughs> welcome to Graham Bryant's personal conglomeration of the uh, notes and theories and findings regarding philo uh, philosophism. Now it can inform our lives. Uh, I've organized into three categories the Iconoclast, the Halcyon Colony, and the Universe. <laughs> Right, let's start the house, uh, house young colony. The board's lies. The board vastly overestimates their authority and their grip on power. Without the Earth Directorate's military might to back them up, they would not be able to maintain their life-draining grip on the colony's throat. They spread lies and misinformation to confuse and oppress the masses. Perhaps that's one of the reasons they've not been allowed. Uh, they have not allowed any colony ships since the Hope's disappearance. They've had 70 years to condition their little good workers to follow the directives unquestioningly. Their lives have become more and more transparent as the years pass and will soon to be too obvious for even the most, uh, soon be too obvious for even the most deluded colonists to see. More and more transparent will soon be too obvious for even too obvious to see? Surely it's too obvious to ignore. Impression must end. A man from Byzantium told us an acquaintance who had just been arrested for carrying philosopher's texts. Not teaching, not evangelizing, just carrying. They oppress any truth that threatens their corrupt structure. Is that what we want? Do we want to live in a society where we can be sent to Taurus for our beliefs? No, the workers' minds are poisons. Their minds, sh their will shackled. Their dreams hamstrung. We can stand this no longer. We must tear this entire regime down. The dangers of a corporate society. I hope to someday publish a greater work in which I can extensively lay out what, so is uh, what is so clear to me, that our society's obsession with a corporate-run life has stifled and crippled humanity's ability to grow. <laughs> Alas, for now I can only collect my scattered thoughts in this barely functional machine. In my younger and more vulnerable days, I would have attracted- uh, I bought into the attraction of the corporate ladder. I measured quantifiable way- sorry. A measured quantifiable way with which to judge oneself against one's peers. It provided motivation. Meaning. Yet my spirit longed for more than just the paycheck. It yearned to reach out to connect with my fellow man. It sought a connection. It sought kin. It sought a familial unit. The corporations claim that they are the familial unit, but they treat us like pets. We beg for scraps at the table, and if they are so kind as to drop one, we praise the ground they tread on, while they usher us into kennels called homes. We attach ourselves to contractually obligated familiar units, strangers with whom we share no uh, no more connection than the employers seeking to empower themselves by our unions. We bear children out of obligation to our executives who demand a constant workforce. We slave away in the vain hope that someday we too will be just like those executives. Until the day we die and we're processed, burned and filed away, just another tick on the human resource of paperwork. We built ourselves into a cold, unthinking, efficient machine, and doing so have abandoned all the warmth humanity is capable of. I weep for us all. <gasps> Sanja. All right. I often recall my former friend who once sought to dismantle the corporations, as I still do, once sought. Good information to have. When he took over uh, ownership of that co corporation, I held him in such contempt. I called him a coward, a betrayer. He was becoming the very thing we hated. Now I'm not so sure. Recently, I've come to accept that his heart was more closed than mine. I cannot expect every man to uh, be able to open himself to the eternal truth as I have. Some are just not capable. And so, it is a tragic thing. Tragic that he is weaker than I'd hoped, that he cannot fight for a cause. But I can empathize with tragedy. Should the day come, when the metal of our spirits clash against one another, that empathy shall shield me from guilt. Like the board, he now stands across our path, arms crossed, stubbornly resistant to the eternal truth, like the board, he spreads and he celebrates the poison that cripples us our society. Like the board, his stubbornness will only blind him to his inevitable fall. Tragic. Shit talking Sancho is a crime. That's probably the least uh, nice thing that I've read in all the diaries so far. Uh, Alright, personal thoughts regarding Zara. 
For someone who's so committed to the Iconoclast way, I fear that Zlora is slipping off the true path. More and more often, I fear her attachment to the materialism of our oppressor sways her decisions more than the, uh, the search for the guiding truth that will save us. She often tells me that our people are hungry. I agree. Their spirits long for fulfillment, a much more powerful power than any pang of an empty gut. Yeah, that's what we're setting up for. Silly, thank you very much for the tier one sub to Cows Are Good, uh, Cows Are Cool 2. Much appreciated, Cows Are Cool 2. Enjoy remotes and chat and welcome to the Republic. Teaching notes. Of all the things to motivate a person, I'm finding freedom has been the most powerful. Many of them still remember being slaves to the corporate structure, recalling those painful memories lights their fire anew. A man from Fallbrook stopped by on his way to Cella Bay. After thumbing through our pamphlet, he asked me how he can survive without money. I found an appropriate metaphor in gas masks. When clearing... I found an appropriate metaphor in gas masks. I don't get it. When clearing a mantis swarm's nest... Oh, never mind. We're about to do it. Uh, when clearing a mantis swarm nest, we wear masks to ward off poisonous fumes. Even after the nest is cleared, the fumes may remain for some time. Thus, we wear masks until we are safe to breathe. Until the very last dregs of our poisonous corporation society are gone, the attachment to bits will remain. Though their use is uncomfortable, though they stifle our spirit just as the masks are ill-fitting and limit our vision, we must persist with them until we can cast them aside. So, okay, Graham is comfortable with being pragmatic in this instance, but not in other instances. I wonder if we have the ability to convince Graham to be a little bit more practical. Shifting priorities. As our numbers grow, I find that more and more of our population turns to the written words of my pamphlets. I'm happy to continue making them, but I must find a more efficient way to print and distribute this reading material. I wonder if the old printing press might be uh, printing press rather might be convinced to run once more. Wouldn't that be something to return to my duties as an editor in a publication, only this time of my own control and not stifled by the rules and regulations of style guides and grammatic books, uh, grammar books rather. Nobody will tell me where to put a comma. I'll put them where they belong, as decreed by the eternal truth. Actually, you should probably uh, M bash both of those. Sorry, uh, comma two seven. Uh, no, you don't want to be told. Fair enough. Good point. Well made. I'm not going to be prescriptivist in terms of that. Influence drift in the universe. When I realized the truth of philosophism, I immediately wondered how I can be the first to recognize the poisonous spiral that's shaped our society. Then one day I was talking to, of all people, Huxley. She once lamented that she'd like nothing more than a pet cannon. I confess to know very little about animal behavior, as I am much more concerned with the animal that is mankind, but I stress that I did not think such a thing was possible. She let it go, and a few weeks later, Zora reported the strangest thing, story of a marauder with a canid follower. I don't know if, I'd been cited, uh, if it had been cited here on Terra 2, but I immediately thought of Huxley and her reckless, wild imagination. I wonder if she'd told other people, and if the word had spread out of the possibility until it wriggled its way into the mind of marauders somewhere. Ideas are insidious. If even a marauder, mindless husk as it is, can be convinced of an idea, there must be hope for the workers of this colony, poisoned as they are against the eternal truth. If we can shout so loudly that the truth inches its way into the collective consciousness, I am confident that it will spread to the rest of the cosmos. Yeah, we are literally about to just start printing propaganda. Dope. More commas better? Yeah, uh, look, I only read something if there are commas between every word. Frankly, I need, I need the beat. It is very uh, difficult to face the eternal truth, that everything happens for a reason, that life and everything in it is the will of the cosmic consciousness, and it can be a terrifying one. There is an urge amongst us all to control the parameters of one life, one's life rather. This urge is so powerful that it suppresses the eternal truth simply by existing. Mankind has not shed the weight of its own shackles, and so I, and so I find that spreading philosophism is unnecessarily difficult. But the universe cannot suppress it forever. Biology changes, creatures adapt and evolve as we must overcome our urges for the better of the species. Someday, our minds will be born more open to this idea. Until then, I must not abandon hope. Nothing else that I really need to loot in here. Neat. I mean, I kind of don't want it to randomly loot in here either. <laughs> Catch you dear blue. Thank you much for the bit donation. I've been enlightened. I must be free of my bits and my punctuation. Yes, unfortunately, the bits must be... <laughs> uh, Graham's already made an argument for it, that uh, bits are unnecessarily currently viable and useful. But we're on our way to a future where they are not. At all too slow a pace for Graham, at least. Actually, hang on, I didn't even talk to Zora while I was up there. I should probably do that. 
Although it looks like she's left. Graham, have you got anything else to say? I have some questions. Actually, yeah, let's tell me about the Iconoclasts, Graham. I heard about you. You're trying to change the colony, right? Transform the soul and character of Halcyon. Right you are, my boy. Soon every man, woman, and child will experience their own spiritual awakening under my guidance. The Iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs. All petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. Would it be dangerous to let Anarchy run rampant? From what I'd seen, I'd have to agree. Anarchy would be better. Is this why the board has cordoned off Monarch? Well, the rest of the colony thinks your way is insane. <sighs> this is difficult. Would it be dangerous to let Anarchy run rampant? From what I've seen, I'd have to agree. Anarchy would be better. Is this why the board has called off Monarch? From what I've seen, I'd have to agree. This is not anarchy. Society requires structure, Captain. It is just that the board's structure is killing the colony. Ours will not. All right, all right. So you're not an anarchist, you're a communist. Got it. Want to know more about your teachings, Graham? Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? Anything and everything, bud. I hear the word eternal thrown around a lot. What is it? Ah, the eternal. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms. Divinity is in us all. And the eternal is that divinity. Even OSI? Are their members similarly divine? I must be more divine than beasts, but I don't believe in any of this. How can I be divine? Even OSI? Everyone, regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. We are the universe experiencing itself. What do you mean about an awakening? The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, Every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI, just like the overlords before him. So Sanjar betrayed you, you turned to religion and now here we are? Uh, but his workers enjoy much more freedom than those of the board. That is true. I actually do want to say that. Their leashes may be longer, but their collars are just as tight. To be expected. Do you believe in a creator, Graham? Not in the sense of a single entity. Fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time. Organically, naturally, okay. and without purpose in that sense i suppose you could say that in the interest of finding its purpose the universe itself created all living things whoa i think i just felt my brain kick into a higher gear is this what you folks call enlightenment my sweet boy. if we're only that easy my delightfully eager friend you've taken but one step on our long and arduous but ultimately fulfilling path toward the eternal truth go ahead oh. never mind uh i've heard people mention a massacre what happened i'm sorry as long as it's been i'd still rather not speak of it that was a painful day for us all can only imagined sorry i asked why did you have family here so topic huh so topic huh it's fine perhaps someday i'll be strong enough to recall that tragedy but Today is not that day. Mm. 
What? Why have I come? Uh, just Rocket, in case. The iconoclasts are free. Me yep. We I've heard all of that. Uh, but he'd be dangerous. Okay, let's let's go for some of the other ones. Uh, but he'd be dangerous. Let Anarchy run rampant. I mean, he's just gonna say we're not anarchists. Is this why the board is called Nov Monarch? Oh yes. Gunships hover in our skies, ready for the day they decide to come to our doors waving banners of war. The perception of visionaries is often tainted by the lies of their oppressors. A sad state of affairs, to be sure. All right. All right. I think that's the end of our conversation. Let's go find Zora. I want to hear what her objections to the current state of things are. I suspect they're quite good. Hey, oh. I'm not going to steal from you. Don't worry. I'm just having a look. I hope that I get the ability to try and treat these. Because I do have a decent medical staff. Sorry about earlier. Graham and I don't always see eye to eye. Besides, we just got our asses kicked in the ruins. Not a great time to yammer on about his printing press. Felix is a naive anarchist who take any system over what's there. Consequences be damned. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Felix doesn't seem to have much forethought. You run the triage clinic here. It does seem wasteful to press parts rather than food. You always talk to your leader like that. No, I can't say your leader, right? That's obviously not going to work. Blank, catch you around. Enjoy the game. You run the triage clinic here? Yeah. Name Zora. I've been patching up the Iconoclast since day one. Whenever Graham's lack of foresight gets someone hurt, I get them back on their feet. If I can. So you're Sawbones. You joking? It's Monarch. Can't set foot outside without being attacked by a beast or a marauder. I accidentally said the other one, by the way. Uh, it does seem wasteful to always talk to your leader like that. Given the amount of patching up here, I'm guessing the rooms was a catastrophe. A Manta Queen showed up out of nowhere, and I guess the gunfire attracted Raptodons. It was a damn bloodbath. You found a queen that far north? Wish I'd been there. You and me both, Mioka. We could have used the help. Listen, unless this is urgent, I need to oversee the wounded. Talking to me is always urgent. Need any help? You want to do us a favor or two? Go talk to Bronson. He's always looking to pass his work off on someone else. I already did a little stuff. I gotta get to the wounded. Welcome to Amber Heights. What? Sorry. Long day. 